Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And today is another day vlogging. <laughs> and this is my third day vlogging. And uh, yeah, I uh, have been up since uh, 4 o'clock. I have my shower. I have my uh, workout clothes on. And uh, yeah, I just uh, dress my daughter now. I'll drop her first in school. Then I go, then I go to the gym. I will be working out today, guys. My first workout after my surgery and a new beginning. And I'm so, so happy. And uh, I'm so happy I'm doing this, guys, because uh, and doing this is the biggest step ever for me. I, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'll be going to the hospital as well because I have uh, my therapist appointment today. I uh, have been very, very stressed out, very, very depressed, very, very angry and just sad after my surgery. So I decided to meet somebody and I'll be meeting her for my fifth time today. That's why I stopped doing YouTube videos because I was not, I wasn't feeling happy. I was not comfortable with everything. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'm a little bit shocked from uh, losing so much weight in a very short period of time. But I'm going to make a new video, a different video, just telling you guys a little bit about that. So I have my doctor's appointment or my therapist appointment at 8 o'clock. And then from there, I will just go direct to the gym. Uh, yeah, I really am so happy doing this, guys. Maybe she helps me. I don't know. But I hope I get help because I really have a lot going on right now. A lot, a lot going on right now. And I really need help. I need professional help. And I love my kids very much. I want to live longer. I want to be a happy mom. I just want to be a happy person. And yeah, and that's why I decided I'm talking to somebody, talking to a professionalist, just like solving my problems and just like her. Being a happy and a free, stress-free person. So I will start by dropping my daughter in school. Then I will go to my therapist appointment from there. Then I go to the gym. And then I have to hurry up back home. Yeah. So I have a long day again today and I will take you guys with me everywhere, like everywhere. So just uh, let's do this together. It's going to be a very nice day. But I'll start my drinking my lemon drink. I always, I, want to, I always like to take a cup of lemon drink every morning when I get up. And uh, yeah, that's going to be my breakfast for now. So let's do this together. ready as well. I have it here. It's my workout bag. I'll have it on like a baby. <laughs> Anyways, I have everything ready with me. I have my, my half my, uh, yeah, I have everything ready. And I have to have my gym code, my gym card too as well. Oh my God. I'll go ahead and drink this very fast. It's very, very good. If you're in Sweden, you have to try this. It's so good. Mm. workout I tried my best guys it was not easy at all oh, I really tried my best I'll be coming back tomorrow I hope I do better tomorrow I don't know but I'm here and my first workout has just finished so let's see what happens tomorrow I'm so happy I did this and I'm happy I'm doing it and uh, let's see what happens in the next uh, two or one month. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't even talk well. I can't even speak well. Oh my God, I'm so tired. But anyways, I have to change and then I get back home. 
then we can continue our vlog from home. I will film their working studio some other day. I don't know when, maybe tomorrow. But anyways, it was very, very nice and I feel so happy. So I, though I'm very, very tired, I can't even speak well. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and change so I can hurry back home. And this is how I look after working out. I've been sweating so much, like nasty. Yeah. So talk to you guys later on. Hi guys. How you guys doing? I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. I uh, I had my I had a wonderful day though I was very very tired, so tired that I cannot even explain. I was so tired. When I left the gym, I was almost dying because that was the first time after so many years. So I've just been out for very long works and that is not training. So it was really really intense and it was so so painful. <laughs> It's so difficult to say that, but it was so painful. I will not, I will not pretend. It was so hard and it was so difficult, and I just had to do what I had to do. I was there for, um, I was there for forty-five minutes. Yeah, I was there for almost one hour. So I did what I had to do, and tomorrow I'll be there again. Tomorrow, I don't know. It's called. I booked on some. I booked for something. Is it body balance or whatever? But I'll be there again tomorrow. I will try to train as much as possible. Maybe it helps me. Maybe it helps me. But anyways, I don't want things like, that I'm not gonna do. I just want to do them. I'm a very I'm funny like, person. Yeah. I can say I will train five to six times a week, and I end up training maybe once or twice or three <laughs> three times. So I don't want to say so much about training and going to the gym. Yeah. I just want to like surprise myself every single day and every single week so we had very good weather I read on one of my comments from the for my first vlog somebody was saying that we have very good weather yeah we really have very good weather now but Sweden is very very funny because at times it they can have summer and the middle of summer they have serious rain and in the north of Sweden it's snowing there like it's very very funny in Sweden because some parts can have good weather, some parts can have sun and some parts of the Sweden can have real snow, heavy snow. So it's really, we are, I'm lucky and I'm happy that we have sun because I feel like I'm back home. So I really profit from that and uh, yeah, it's very very nice out here guys. The time is almost 10 o'clock. And it's still so good weather here and you can even go out you can sleep in the tent you can just like enjoy yourself and yeah but because I have kids and I have my daughter that is going to school tomorrow so I cannot really go out and take them out and so on so I just want to let them sleep and rest because they've been out and running up and down so I think they need that yeah I um, and then today what I, I was doing something really very very good today guys I, uh, I had a lot of videos that I had to post on YouTube my computer got bad so I couldn't edit the videos and today a good Samaritan helped me and I just like I was really busy editing the videos and I really did so much guys but the vlogs I just have to wait with them because I was out on holidays some weeks back and uh, I did film something. I don't know if it's gonna be good videos. I don't know. I don't want to promise any good thing. Yeah, but I have some videos coming up very soon. Some few lookbooks and some vlogs and so on. So it's really gonna be very, 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 very tight on my channel because I have some things already there. I'm working on them and I'll upload them when I'm through. So I was, and one thing too, I was watching some of my old videos, like one Valentine look book. And I was so like, I was laughing at the video because I was so dark. I couldn't see myself. I couldn't even see my clothes, but I had a lot of views on that video, which is really, really crazy. And I, I'm happy anyways. I don't know if they were good. I don't know. I don't know, but I just feel it was, I just think it was very, very funny. And I just think the quality of the video was not so good, but the amount of, 
<laughs> views that I got from it was really crazy because I knew nobody was gonna watch the video but I had to post something so that was when I just started and I had no lighting I was just struggling you have to struggle before you get to the good place though I'm not good now but I'm still working on it I've been out for so long from YouTube and I could have been better by now but anyways I will be there one day I'm not in any hurry I'll be there one day one day I'll be there one day I'll be I started from somewhere and you guys were not even so good like you are now so I'm just taking one step at a time and I'll be there one like day. I told you guys before I live in a very 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 little village of just about not up to 15 blacks yeah, not up to 15 blacks and we don't even live closer to each other and uh, it's really been so much on me because even back home I wasn't living in a small town I was living in big town and I was living my life and living in this type of a place is very 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 stressful because you don't do the type of things you used to do and even having kids you can still have fun because I see a lot of people in the US with kids they have fun and so on but living in this type of place, you just be like, you be away from your friends, you be away from family. And uh, I don't even have a family here with me in Europe or anywhere. So you're just like alone in an environment where there's a lot, a lot, a lot of racist and so on. So it's really been very, very difficult for me. And maybe that's why I was so depressed and so stressed. And uh, yeah, so I will see what to do. I will fig I'm figuring out what to do. Because eventually, I don't think I can live here for so long. I've had my surgery. I'm feeling happy again. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I can live again. I'm feeling like I, 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 I can meet people, new people, and so on. So, I'm planning on uh, like making a move, going to a little bit, not to a very big town, but to a little big, a little bigger town that I can just like be there, and so on. So, I'm so, um. I'm waiting for that, but I cannot go where I live. I live in a very bigger, uh, bigger house. And if I have to move from here to, uh, to an apartment, I cannot go to an apartment that is very little. No, I want to really have an apartment that is a little bit bigger and uh, that can have me, the kids and things and so on. So I really want to have a bigger space as well because I have a bigger space here. And it's expensive here, very, very expensive where I live. It's very, very expensive. So even if I'm moving to another place that is expensive, I don't care. But I want to have a place that is bigger because when you're moving to an apartment here, apartments are very, they're not so big. So it's, that's always a problem with apartments here. So I really want to have an apartment that is bigger or maybe not going to a two rooms or three rooms. I want to go for, for, for maybe a four or four and a half or so. So. I really hope I get one because I've seen a lot of them and I missed them because I was not so sure of what I wanted and now I want it and it's like taking forever for me to have one so I'm working on that and once everything works right I will tell you guys and we'll celebrate together so that's the big news and I hope I get something as soon as possible because right now I just feel like I'm a new person I'm a fresh I'm fresh I'm, I'm, I, I think I can live again and uh, yeah, so I think it's time for me to make a move to a much more bigger, to a little bigger place and uh, much more easier. And I don't know what to say right now. I have my glass of water with me. Never forget to it. It's always by my side. Mm. I'm watching TV now because the kids are already in bed. And this is the only time I can relax. This is the only time I can have time for myself. This is the only time I can like just talk to the camera without telling somebody to stop doing this or like without running there to help somebody or without like telling them to stop fighting or so on. So this is the only time I can like sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys peacefully. <laughs> it's a very good feeling. So and anyways, yeah. I'll just go ahead and watch a very nice movie now. Just take it easy. Maybe I, uh, yeah, I cannot eat anything because I don't even feel hungry. I'm not a normal human being anymore. So had it been before my surgery, I could have had a, a big bowl of popcorn, a big bowl of cakes or glass or, or whatever. Oh my God, I miss those days. I miss I miss those things. So
but I can't have them and I don't want to have them because I know a lot of people test them but I don't want to have them I don't want to go there again I don't want to have them and that's why I just like prefer having my glass of water by me so I can just like sip it and watch my program or watch my movie and I always eat popcorn that's my only thing that's the only thing I go for now popcorn and that's all and it's so good so guys I will just go ahead and watch this movie and then I'll get back to you guys in uh, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow in my new video because I said I was going to vlog for a week and see how it goes I think it's fun vlogging bird bird when you have a lot doing you just forget it but like I said I'm not gonna fail you guys this time I'll vlog and vlog and vlog while editing the other videos I have I had on my camera so you guys can watch them after my vlog my my one week vlog so I'll try to make lookbooks as well because I feel like I can I would I want to do it but I don't have somebody to film me but when I get it you guys will see lookbooks and uh, OOTDs <laughs> okay guys I'll go ahead and watch a movie now then I'll get back to you guys tomorrow if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that now and like comment and just tell me what you think I can do next time I I intend doing a video a fun video with my kids and uh, yeah I hope it goes well so I'm just figuring out what to do and I don't know for now so when it comes up I'll tell you guys and you guys will see the video so it was a pleasure vlogging today as well and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and see you in my next one. Bye for now and have a wonderful evening, morning or afternoon. So peace and love. Greetings from Sweden. Bye.